Some Pasco County High School students are going to battle with their principal over their right to go to the restroom. At Zephyr Hills High School, the principal says the behavior of some students was so appalling that he had to crack down. Students say what he wants to do to make them do is way out of line. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live in Zephyr Hills tonight to explain what the plan is here, Evan. Well, Kelly, the principal wants the students to go to the bathroom with an escort. Students say that's demeaning and unnecessary. Hey, you need to be on track. Principal Andy Frelick says toilets being purposely clogged with paper is the least of his worries. We had a girl get jumped in the bathroom by three girls during class time. We had some kids spread feces on the wall. He and a group made up of students and parents enacted a policy this week that says any kid who has to go to the bathroom has to tell a teacher who then has to call the office, which then sends a staffer to escort them. And then they wait in the hallway until the student is done. And their parents are trusting us to supervise their students, so my goal is to keep all students supervised at all times. Students say that Mr. Frelick needs a timeout. It's very demeaning to us to have to ask to use the restroom at 17 and 18 years old. After students started the hashtag school not prison, the principal will only require escorts for students with GPAs lower than 2.0. There's some people that are academically like not as well off as other people, you know, and that doesn't determine how well behaved they are. The school district says many parents have complained and that the superintendent is, quote, concerned. 75 students are planning to protest on Friday. People don't take you seriously when you're 16 or 17 and complaining about a rule, but when parents and the community and the media get involved, obviously it's not just us complaining. Principal Frelick hears them too, but also promises that the bathrooms will never again return to chaos. And I'm proud of our students for advocating for themselves for this Friday because I teach them to advocate. So I'm not going to say you can't do this protest. I want to listen to them, see what they have to say, and come up with some solutions. The principal says that if the district demands that he change the policy, he will do so. But he does expect that all the sides here will be able to come to an agreement that satisfies everybody. We're in Zephyr Hills, Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.